Hi there, welcome back to Makeup Etc. Today we've got the beautiful Kristen in. We're doing this maroon look on her. Perfect for fall, perfect for winter. Stay tuned. So starting off by prepping her skin using the Mario Badescu Collagen Moisturiser and Hyaluronic Eye Cream. Then going in with the Napoleon Perdi Autopilot Primer. Kristen has been a victim to winter and a cold and her skin was very dry so prepping it with nice moisturising products is definitely a must to make sure your makeup goes on well. Next priming the eyelids with the MAC 24 hour Prep and Prime Extended Eye Base and then setting that with this pale cream eyeshadow from the MAC Warm Neutrals palette. Next going into the Makeup Geeks Peach Smoothie is our transition colour using the Morphe M504 to run that through the crease and the outer corner of the eye. Then taking Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee, which is slightly darker than Peach Smoothie, and the Wayne Goss 04 brush. Mostly concentrating that on the outer corner of the eye, and then blending what's left into the crease, but trying to stay away from the inner corner, we want to keep that blank. Next going in with Makeup Geek's Bitten, this is the beautiful red shade. Again on the Wayne Goss 04 brush. I'm gonna pack this onto the outer V of the eye. Slowly bring it in to halfway across the eye, no further in. This is quite a dark colour and you want to be careful where you're putting it. Take your time to really blend this out. Go back in with your transition colour. So I went back in with this peach smoothie on the fluffy blending brush and blended it out the edges. And this really helps it have a nice seamless blended gradient. Then taking a white eyeshadow on the Wayne Goss 06 brush and packing it onto the lid and especially on the inner corner. Then using a makeup wipe to sharpen up the edges and clear up any fallout. Giving the brows a quick brush with a Real Techniques spoolie before going in with Chi Chi Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown and a angled brow brush by Real Techniques again. First, defining the tail of the brow and then using short hair strokes to fill in any missing gaps. To set the brows in place, going with the Brow Artiste Plumper in Brunette running them through the brows. Next, to help combat some of the redness Kristen's received from being ill under her eyes and on blemishes, taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal Corrector in green on a synthetic brush, taking this under her eyes with quite a lot of redness and on blemishes around her mouth and chin. I mean, you can really see just from this shot how effective that corrector is. Next going to the AC on Tour Contour Kit by Australis and taking the yellow banana colour. Yellow is another colour that tends to subdue red, so I'm setting that green concealer with the yellow powder so it doesn't budge when we apply our foundation. For foundation I'm using the Bourjois Paris 123 Perfect Foundation. This is an awesome foundation, it has three colour correctable pigments in it and it really works great if you've got extra dark circles or red blemishes or you suffer from redness in the face. It's using an original beauty blender to blend this into the skin. I know the shade looks a little bit too dark for her face but I've matched her neck which will look right when it all comes together. For concealer I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Neutral. Drawing a triangle with this under her eyes down the bridge of her nose, on her forehead, and on her chin, and keep his bow. Then blending this out again with the Beauty Blender. Beauty Blender is of course damp, this helps to pick up excess product, so you don't end up caked. Next, taking that yellow shade again from the contour kit, onto the damp Beauty Blender, and pressing that onto the under eye to set that concealer. Next, using the new Benefit Do The Hula, this is the liquid matte bronzer, it's a beautiful product for all ages. I'm just applying this to everywhere I want to bronze her face up, so on her cheeks, on her forehead, and then blending this out with the Morphe E4. This looks orangey when it goes on, but it isn't, it blends out to a really beautiful finish, there's no shimmer, this is a great, great bronzing product. You can visit our website for a full review. I'm just going over the whole face with the Beauty Blender, just making sure everything's seamlessly blended. 
Next, going in with the Bourgeois Belize de Poudre. A sheer bronzing powder. It's got a bit of a hint of gold to it though, so it's a, gives a nice glow. I'm going to lightly contour the face. I'm using the Sleek Contour Palette in light to medium on the cheek brush by Real Techniques. Then taking Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek again on a e.l.f. Professional Eye Crease Brush which is actually perfect for the lower lash line. Taking that along followed by Bitter on the outer third of the eye. We don't want to bring this all the way in, we still want to keep light within the inner corner of the eye. Going back in again with that MAC eyeshadow, really want to just brighten up that inner third of the eye. Next, on the Wayne Goss 07 brush, I'm picking up this brown eyeshadow from the MAC, again the Warm Neutrals palette. I'm packing this onto the outer half of the lash line, I'm using it as a sort of a eyeliner, winging it out a bit, blending it up, trying to blend it into that red. This will really help to define the eye without having to have a big stark black winged liner, but obviously that is an option if you wish. Next to highlight, I'm using the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlighter on a Elf Fan Brush. Then using the Sleek Trio Blush, the more orangey tone one, on a Real Techniques Duo Fiber Brush. These blushes are great, but they are very pigmented, so you must be very light-handed. Using the color Taupe by MAC Cosmetics and a Real Techniques Lip Brush. You'll notice I haven't done mascara. Kristen had eyelash extensions, so it wasn't necessary, but you could do mascara or lashes at this stage. Finishing the look with the Mario Badescu facial spray, and then we are done.